Hello everyone, welcome to my channel VisionFlip. In this video of Playwright with TypeScript series, I will talk about how to fetch and validate API response headers in Playwright. And previously, I have already talked about introduction of API, how to perform get, post, put, patch and delete calls. We have also seen that how to pass request body to any API call from JSON file. If you have not watched these videos, I will highly recommend you to watch these videos. I will provide link of these videos into the description or you can click on to this i button at top right corner to access these videos. And one more thing, I have created YouTube Shorts playlist for Playwright. You can watch this playlist to refresh your Playwright concepts. I will provide link of this playlist into the description or you can go to my YouTube channel Wish Infinite where under this playlist tab, you would be able to access this Learn Playwright in 60 Seconds Playwright Shorts playlist. And you can click on to this community tab where you would be able to see this Playwright quiz. You can provide answer of these questions which will also help you to prepare for interview. Now let's come back to our topic, which is how to fetch and validate API response headers in Playwright. Response headers are vital part of communication in an API. They act like messengers carrying additional information about the response sent back by the server in the response to your API request. We can use this headers and headers array method to fetch header details of response. Now let's see the practical example. So for this particular video, I'm going to use the API from this site which is restful-booker.herokuweb.com. Here, I would be taking example of this get call to fetch and validate the response header. You can apply the same concept for any of the API call. It may be post, put, patch, delete, etc. Now let's first see that how this response header looks into the Postman tool. So to perform this get call, let me copy this endpoint, which is containing the base URL with the resource and the booking ID, which is one. And here into the Postman tool, you can click onto the new, HTTP and here you can pass that endpoint which is containing this base URL with the resource as booking and one as the booking ID. Here we need to perform get only which is already selected and one more thing which we need to pass is this accept header. So the header field name is accept. You can copy it and here inside this headers tab under this key section you need to put that value. You can type this manually also and its value is application forward slash JSON. So here I am copying the same value and here inside this value column for this accept, we can put this value. Now, once I click onto the send, I should be able to see the response. So this is the response body and the status code is 200. Here, if you will click onto this headers tab, so you would be able to see all the headers with their key and value. We have received 11 different headers. So that's why this 11 is appearing here. Now let's perform the same get call through the playwright and then we will fetch the response header using both the methods which are headers and headers array. And here inside the project, I've already created one test script file which is API testing response header verification .ts inside this test folder. And inside this test script file, I've already imported the test and the expect from playwright test module. This expect we would be using for providing assertions. And here inside this test block, I have provided the title as fetch and validate response header. And the second argument is the anonymous function where I have provided this request fixture, which we would be using to perform the API calls. Now to perform this get call, we need to use this request fixture. So request dot, we need to perform the get call. So for that, we need to use this get method. About this, we have already talked about. Now here we need to provide the first parameter, which would be the complete endpoint, which will contain the base URL with the resource and the booking ID, which we have used here. So let me copy this. And here within the quotes, I can pass that value. And here inside this playwright.config.ts file, I've already provided this base URL value, which is https colon double slash restful hyphen booker dot com. So inside this get call, you need not to provide the base URL again. If you want to keep this base URL here, that is also fine. It will override this global base URL, which we have provided here inside this playwright.config.ts file, but for now I'm removing it. So I'm just providing this forward slash, then the resource name forward slash booking ID. And we also saw that we need to pass this accept header with its value, which is application forward slash JSON. You can pass it with this get method, but I've already passed it within this playwright.config.ts file, where inside this use, I've provided the key, which is extra HTTP headers and its value is object where the key is accept and its value is application forward slash json. So this is our header key and value. The same we have given here. 
about providing this base URL and headers, I've already discussed into my previous video. Now our get call is ready. And here, as this get method is going to return us the promise. So for that, we need to use this await here. And we can save the response of this get call into one variable. So for that, I can use this const and then any variable name. Here, I'm giving the name as get response equals to. So within this variable, we would be able to receive the response of this get call. Now, this variable contains the complete response, which includes the body, header details, status code, etc. And from this, we just need to fetch the headers details. So for that, we can use this variable name, which is get response dot, and then we need to use this headers method. Now we can save this headers details into one variable. So for that, we can use this const and here you can give any variable name. Here I'm giving the name as headers value, then equals to any variable name you can give, which is meaningful. Now let's print the value of this headers through the console log. So console.log and then we can use this variable name where we are putting the value of these headers using the headers method. So directly providing the variable name, which is headers value. And it will console log all the response headers value, which we have received with this API call. Here we are using the get call, but you can use any API call. It can be get, post, put, patch, delete, etc. Now let me execute the script and we should be able to see the past test and it will console log all the response headers, which we received with this get API calls response. So see here we have received an object where we are able to see different key value pair. So this is our header key and here after the colon, we are having that headers value. Similarly, we have received all the headers and here if you will open this postman tool, so you would be able to see all the headers key and their values within the postman tool also. So see here we have all the keys of the headers and their values. So by this method, which is headers, we are able to fetch the response headers as the JSON object. Now let's validate the response headers, which we have received. So to validate the response, we need to use this expect, which we have already imported here from the playwright test module. So expect, and then we can directly use this variable, which is headers value. And inside it, we are getting all the response headers using the headers method onto the get response. So here you can use that variable name, which is headers value. After that, we can use this dot and after the dot, we can provide these headers key to fetch these values as it is the JSON object, which we are getting within this headers value. So let's validate this server value. So for that, we can use the server key here after the dot. And after this expect, we can use dot to equal. And here I can pass the expected value. So the expected value of this server header key should be cowboy. So let me copy it. And here within the quotes, I can paste that value. And similarly, I can validate any of the header. Let's validate one more header, which is this x hyphen powered hyphen by. So let me copy this key name. And here I can use this expect again. Expect. And here we can use this headers value where we are receiving this response header into this JSON object. And then we need to validate this x hyphen power hyphen by. So previously, as this server was the single word, so we have used this dot notation to fetch the value of the server. But this time, this x hyphen powered hyphen by is not the single word and it is separated by hyphens. So in that case, if I will use this dot notation and then this key value, then it will show me the error. So for that, to fetch the value from this JSON object, what we need to do, we need to provide this bracket notation. So after this headers value, you need to provide these brackets, which we use for the arrays also. And here you can provide these headers key within the quotes. So double quotes I'm putting and then this headers key, which is hex hyphen powered hyphen by. And then after the expect, I can use this two equal method. And here I can pass the expected value, which is express. So copying this express and then here within the quotes, you can paste that value. And similarly, you can provide validation for any of the head. Now let me execute the script and I should be able to see the past result. See, we have got one past where it is printing all the response header because of this console log and these two assertions got passed. Here, let me fail this test purposefully. So on place of this cowboy, let me put this cowboy one 
So here I am putting this expected value purposefully wrong so that we would be able to see that how our failure is going to look like. Let me execute the script. See our execution got failed. Here the expected value was cowboy1 which we have given purposefully wrong and the received value is cowboy. So that's why we are getting this failure. Let me change it to the correct value for your reference. Now this is the first headers method through that we were able to fetch the response header and mostly you would be using this particular method but here we are having one more method which is headers array which will give us the response header but into the different format. Let me show that to you and here we need to use this headers array method onto the API calls response as here we are using this get API call and we are saving the value of the response into this get response variable. So I'm using this get response again. So get response and previously we have used this headers method here. Now we are going to use this headers array method and we can save its value into one variable. So const and here you can provide any variable name. Here I am giving the variable name as headers array value equals to. Now let's print the value of this headers array. So for that we can use this console.log and then this headers array value. Let me put one simple console log as a separator so that we would be able to see the value of this headers method and the value of this headers array method separately. So here I am putting this console.log and within the log let me put these stars. I am giving all these console logs just to show the values. In actual tests you may not be using these console logs. Now let me execute the script. Now our execution got completed and this is our console log from this headers method where we have received the JSON object and inside this we have received all the headers as key and value pair separated by comma and here after this separator which we have given here we have received the value of this headers array. So from this headers array as you can see we have received one array and inside this array we have different objects for different headers. So this is our one object where we have received name as the key and its value is the header key. So previously as we have seen our header key is server. So that's what we have received here and after the comma we have received this value as the key and its value is headers key value which was cowboy and similarly we have received different objects for all the headers separated by comma into this format. So we are receiving the same values of the response headers but the format is little different. Here we were receiving the JSON object with the help of this headers method but here with this headers array method we have received one array and inside that array we are having the different headers within these JSON object. So here we received the array of the objects and as I previously told that mostly we would be using this headers method where we are receiving this JSON object and by that we can easily fetch the value of the each headers by using this dot notation or the bracket notation. With this headers array method we can provide one assertion. Let's see that. So here we can use this expect and within this expect I can use this variable name which is headers array value and then I can put dot and here I can use this length which will give us length of this particular array and this length would be equals to number of response headers which we are going to receive. So in our case we are going to receive these 11 headers so we should be able to see 11 as the length. And after the expect we need to provide this dot and then we need to use this to be method and within this to be method I can provide the expected value. So our expected value is 11 number of headers which we have seen here into the postman tool. So here provide 11 as number and this assertion should get passed. Let me execute the script and we should be able to see the passed result and if I change this value to let's say 30. So now this assertion will get failed purposefully I am failing it but in your case let's say you have given the expected value as 11 the correct value and as the response you are only receiving 10 headers in that case our assumption will get failed. For now we have failed it purposefully so see here the expected value was 13 which we have given here but we have received 11 response headers only. So that's why it got failed. Let me change it to correct value only which is 11. Here we can fetch the value from this headers array one by one also. So for that we can use this headers array value variable name where we are receiving the value of this headers array method and on this variable which is having the array I can use this for each 
and here inside this for each i can pass a callback which will have a argument here any name you can give here i am giving as header and then the arrow symbol so equals to greater than and then the curly braces and here i am just giving one console log just to show you that how we can fetch the values one by one so console dot log and then i can print the value of this header let me first print all the values then i will show you that how we can print the value of header key and its value so let me execute the script where we would be able to see different 11 objects okay so this time we are not receiving the array but we have received different objects and here we are receiving this first key as name and its value is header key and the second key is value and its value is header keys value so for each header we have got this format now let's say if i just want to print only the values so these are all the json object and if i want to fetch any particular key so for that i can give this dot and then the key name here the key name is value so i would be able to see all these values only so here we are receiving the array and here by using this for each loop we are getting these values one by one let's execute it and here we are able to see these values only let's print the header keys also so for that again i can use this header dot name and let's separate it with these colons and here i'm using these plus symbols to concatenate this string with these values so by this we would be able to see all the headers key into the console log and then we are putting these double colons and then we are going to get all the headers values let me execute this test again see we have received the headers key separated by colon and then its value so this is just the example i wanted to show you that how you would be able to fetch the value of these headers array one by one and that's it from mine let me give you the quick recap so here we saw that response headers are vital part of communication in an api we can use these headers or headers array methods to fetch header details of the response here with the postman tool we have performed one get call and once we clicked on to the send we were able to receive the response with the body and the response header so like this we are going to get headers key and its value and the same get call we were able to perform with the help of playwright so here by using this request fixture dot get method we performed the get call and here by using this headers method we received the response into one json object with a key and value pair for each header and as it is the json object so we were able to fetch the value of the each header by using this dot notation or the bracket notation where we have provided the name of the header keys if header key is single word you can use this dot notation or the bracket notation but if it is combination of different words which are separated by comma so in that case you will have to use this bracket notation only and on to this value we can use this assertion using this expect and after this dot equals method we can provide the expected value and here we saw that on to this api response we can also use this headers array method which will give us the array of the different objects and each object will have the header details in this format here you can validate the length of this array to get the number of response header which we are going to receive if you want to fetch the values one by one so here you can use this for each loop onto this particular array to fetch these values one by one so this is simple javascript code and that's it from mine you can click onto this first card to go to the next video you can click onto the second card to access the whole playwright tutorial playlist and stay tuned for my upcoming videos if you have any comments questions or doubts you can let me know into the comment section below please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a great day